Today, our Eyeing the Dream journey takes us all the way to Nyangori, a township on the border of Nandi, Kisumu, and Vihiga counties in western Kenya, where one remarkable woman lives. Farm Rock is a women group. It consists mostly of widows, uh, orphans, and those who are needy in the community. This initiative, known as the Farm Rock Foundation, is like a ray of hope in the lives of those struggling in the society. I started this group around 2013. Immediately I retired as a teacher. It was a force in me to start this group because I had seen how the orphans are suffering in my community. Their voices united in song. The women sing a song that serves as a reminder of the strength and love that binds them together. Her main objective is to alleviate the suffering among these vulnerable groups and provide them with opportunities for growth and empowerment. The group's membership keeps on growing with each passing day. We are about now about 40 women who are actually widows and those who are needy. They have monthly meetings although some members are not able to attend. In this group we have some who don't even come to meet with us, who are bedridden, they are just at home. So we normally go to visit them, and if we have anything, someone has given us something, some money, we share around those who are there, and these ones we visit them in their homes. To ensure sustainability, the group has implemented a table banking system. We meet every 12th, 12th of every month we meet and in our meeting uh, we have what we call table banking where every member is to give a hundred shillings every month. This system allows the women to save and access capital for their various needs. Many of the widows have small business ventures in the local market to support their families. They sell vegetables, fruits and other goods to generate income. So we saw it important for them to have something to touch on to improve their business. So it's when we started this table banking. They give a hundred shillings as shares every month, each one of them. Someone can even bring 200, but we record their shares. And in fact, that's what I'm working on now. Because 12th is about to come and we are about to close the year. So we have to see what they will get and what interest we'll give them. Mama Helen Onyino, through the Farm Rock Foundation, encourages the community to support these entrepreneurs by purchasing their products and services. I have my chair lady, who is Madam Alisa Martha. I have my secretary, who is Mrs. Tabitha Mulusa. I have my treasurer, Mrs. Catherine Odera. And all these are widows and they decided to stand with me so that we can see how we can help these people in the community. Despite their own challenges, the foundation relies heavily on the support of well-wishers and volunteers. Donations in the form of food, clothing, and other essentials are always welcome, and the foundation makes sure to distribute these items to those in need. We, can, we have volunteers. Some people bring us shoes, some bring us clothes, some can even give us money. And when they give it, I share it out to them. Like now I have some clothes, some shoes. So when we meet, even the orphans will invite them in and they come and pick according to their sizes. Mama Helen Onyino has a vision beyond her current initiatives. I was thinking of if God can open my ways, if I can get a plot, and put up even just a house and write on farm rock. And then there, anything we, we get, even if there are computers, whatever, sewing machines, if we can put in and girls will come in and be taught, uh, children will come in and be taught how to use them, I'll be very grateful. 
This will empower them to become self-sufficient and independent, thus breaking the circle of poverty. Education and food sufficiency are two pressing needs in the community. Many children are unable to attend school due to lack of funds and hunger is a constant concern. Here mostly it's just money to take these children to school and then just food. You know when they, we have small plots and when they plant their vegetables mostly they take and go and sell. The little they get is what they come and feed their children on. The foundation works tirelessly to ensure that these basic needs are met. Or sometimes I buy sugar and then I give them each a kilo of sugar with something so that when they go home they are happy. Generally, community members own small pieces of land due to the ever-growing population. They practice subsistence farming on these small plots. Despite the limited resources, they manage to grow crops for family consumption and for sale. In addition, some have ventured into poultry production, providing a source of income and nutrition for their families. The Farm Rock Foundation is a testament to the power of unity and compassion. I know people have things, maybe in their home, some clothes they don't fit in, some their children have passed. Instead of putting them in their homes, if they can hear of a group like this Farm Rock and they help us, we'll be very grateful. These women, bound by their shared experiences and determination, have created a support system that uplifts the entire community. Through their love, resilience and unwavering faith, they write a story of hope, inspiring others to believe in a brighter future. And that's how I'm getting some of the donations from my friends, even from abroad. They bring us anything we accept and we take it with joy. And so, the women of Nyangori continue to sing their song of praise, spreading the message of love and reminding everyone that, together, they can overcome any obstacle. In their harmonious voices, they find solace and strength, knowing that they are not alone. <laughs> and in their hearts, they hold on to the belief that with every act of kindness, they are making a difference in the lives of those they serve. And that is the story of Farm Rock Foundation. My name is Bonventure, and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, connecting people inspiring Africa.